You'll probably recall that, that in times where I've made the argument that Alberta needs to improve its record on the environment, I've been a bit frustrated when opponents to that argument engage in non-fact-based uh, generalizations and exaggerations and assertions that move away from, you know, science and facts. The same uh, frustration uh, exists with some people on the other side of the argument, and that was demonstrated very clearly today by uh, Ms. Fonda. Um, I would suggest that if someone's going to come to Alberta, a province that is uh, going through significant economic downturn, fly over a city that's going through significant in uh, economic downturn that's just been through the largest natural disaster in the uh, history of Canada, and then uh, lecture them about where they should get jobs elsewhere. Well, first of all, that's super tone deaf. But secondly, I would suggest that dining out on your celebrity is something that one ought to also pair with knowledge and research. And she failed to do that. And uh, I don't think, as a result, that much of her intervention requires or deserves the airtime it's getting. Because it's very clear, she didn't know what she was talking about. We offered her, we looked forward to the opportunity to talk to her about how we have a climate leadership plan which makes Alberta a leader in North America now in many respects where we have performance measures and and, and outcomes that, that uh, exceed that uh, from where she was, uh, you know, from her her uh, state, and and uh, and to be able to talk about those things, and the fact that uh, we did not get that opportunity, and that instead uh, she she used the amplification of her celebrity to promote uh, ill-informed um, uh, generalizations. It's it's not helpful, and as you know, we've done all along since I've been elected. Our view of this is that the way you make real, substantial, not press released and communication bites, but actual substantial progress on the environment while working very carefully to promote economic prosperity and preserve uh, job stability is by bringing people together and working thoughtfully and, uh, um, and rigorously in terms of reference to the research and the best knowledge out there to work through problems, to come up with solutions, to be pragmatic and, and to engage. You can't do that if you don't know your facts. My view is that you need to continue to have well-informed adult conversations not shout at each other from opposite sides of the room without ever making eye contact.